how to boost your FPS in Rocket League in 2024. Let's start with software optimization. First things first, update your graphics drivers. If you aren't already or you don't know how to do this, you should be regularly checking and installing the latest drivers for your GPU from your manufacturer's website. Since I'm on NVIDIA, I can do this by just searching up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, or if you don't have this, you can go on browser and download it. Make sure to go into GeForce Experience and hit download to install the latest drivers. So if you can't remember the last time you updated your drivers, that might be why you're lagging. But if you're still not convinced FPS is important, let me show you something. My shorts editor created this training pack that I beat 100% with normal FPS. So to test if FPS really matters in Rocket League, now I'm going to try the same pack with 30 FPS and see if I can get any of the shots. Odds are you're a ranked player. So if you're a ranked player and you didn't catch it, last week, my team and I released two private courses that we've been working on for the past two months completely free to the public. What I'm talking about is last weekend, we released the Grand Champ Bootcamp free edition with courses that most Rocket League YouTubers charge you for, all for free. So if you want access to free courses and a free community and you're an intermediate ranked player, click the first link in the description below and I'll see you there. Number two, Windows settings. Let's start with Windows game mode. This is a new setting in Windows 11 or 10 that prioritizes game performance. To turn it on, simply type game mode in your search bar and hit top on to improve game performance. Power plan. Set your power plan to high performance or ultimate high performance if it's available. To do this, go to your control panel, then navigate to hardware and sound, then hit power options, maximize performance to make sure that your system is uncapped and doing everything it can to give you the most FPS. Last but not least, background apps. While you're playing, you of course want to check task manager and make sure you don't have CPU or GPU intensive activities running. If you're trying to get max FPS, FPS, close all these background tasks down while you play. Bonus, make sure you've audited your startup apps and shut off all the ones you don't use. To do this, type startup apps in your Windows search bar to pull up a list of all the applications that launch on startup. Make sure these are shut off if you want to maximize your performance. Let's talk about NVIDIA control panel settings. Go into your NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking on your desktop and hitting NVIDIA control panel, then adjust your power management to prefer maximum performance performance and change your texture filtering to high performance if it's available. Okay, now that Windows settings are covered, let's get into in-game settings because the stuff I gave you so far is like 20% or 30% of your performance, but the other 70 or 80 is going to come from your in-game settings. First off, resolution. Play at your monitor's native resolution if possible, but if you're still lagging, you can even reduce to 900p or 720p to get a little bit of FPS boost. Graphic settings. Lowering your settings like shadow quality, anti-aliasing, render quality, quality and world detail can all boost FPS. Vertical sync or V-sync. If you don't know what this is, disable it. You should disable V-sync because it will reduce your input lag significantly. And the only real reason that I'd suggest you keep it on is if screen tearing is a major issue for you. Otherwise, it causes input lag. Disable V-sync for most of you. Finally, frame rate limit. Set this to match your monitor's refresh rate or slightly above if you can to ensure smooth gameplay. Last two things, I want to share a couple tips in case you're still lagging. First, I want to talk Talk about your network optimization. If you haven't yet, switch to a wired connection. Using a wired ethernet connection is much more reliable than Wi-Fi. This is because ethernet is more stable and so it's more reliable. And this means you're going to have less issues when you play online in most cases. I know I said this would be a cost-free video, but if you can invest in like a $10 ethernet cable or $20 ethernet cable on Amazon, it's worth it. And secondly, make sure you're closing heavy bandwidth applications. So make sure you're not like streaming a 4K movie while you play ranked if you're having connection issues. Finally, maintenance tasks. Keep Windows updated. Make sure that you're checking at least once a month for Windows updates and NVIDIA drivers updates to keep your system up to speed. Number two, clean your PC. Clean out the dust every month or every couple months to prevent your PC from overheating and slowing down. Finally, check your system's health. Take a look at your task manager and see what's bottlenecking your PC, whether that's the CPU or the GPU or even your RAM. And so if for some reason you're lagging in Rocket League, but like your specs are good and you changed all these settings and you shouldn't be 
lagging for how good your computer is, you might have an issue with a specific component on your PC. And if you can diagnose it using that control alt delete command and just see what's being bottlenecked while you play, you can replace that individual part rather than having to replace your whole PC and save yourself a little bit of money that way. Okay, that was my free PC optimization boost FPS guide 2024 for Rocket League. I hope that was helpful. Everybody's PC is different, but hopefully that helped. If you want more free help from me, I make these videos all the time. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Thanks guys. Peace.